Dr. Yusuf al Chamri joins me now. He's the CEO of C Markets. Thanks a million for being here. Um, great to see you. Always a pleasure. Listen, talk to me a little bit about, first of all, the, where do you see the market at the minute, the oil and gas market, the state of the market? Um, let's start with that. All right, so um, uh, the oil industry, or the, uh, and the, uh, in fact, the oil market, it's been, it's after the OPEC meeting in de last December 2019, there has been a great confirmation from the uh, OPEC and OPEC Plus Group on further cuts from uh, raising the cuts from 1.2 to 1.7 in addition to uh, 500,000 barrels uh, cuts from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So that has somehow um, uh, made the market much, it's given the market much more certainty and we've seen that the prices have been very much supported uh, from December 9, 2019 until the beginning of 2020. Uh, however, there's been an escalation of geopolitical tension in the Middle East recently and as you have seen what happened in Iraq and of course the tensions between the United States and Iran which has uh, given the market some sort of uh, worries and which, as we have seen the past week. However, the, these tensions now is going down and the, the, there's been uh, the, the escalation of the political uh, issues and political crisis between Iran and the United States and that's what we can see now now that the markets are coming back to the fundamentals where supply where the markets are actually well supplied uh, what we need now actually and what we have seen from the conference is that uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and OPEC will continue to ensure that the markets are so well supplied even when, if there is any crisis coming out from any pr pr problems of the uh, de uh, political de-escalation going on in the Middle East. However, what also the market would need more is a, a, uh, an extension of the OPEC Plus agreement and that is the, highest, the issue of the highest uncertainty coming up in March 2020. As you can see, the, uh, the prices of WTI was trading below 58 dollar a barrel over the past couple of days and that what does that show is that the market still needs certainty in order for the prices to continue to be stable at a, at a reasonable level for producers and uh, consumers. Now when we look at you know stability in the market and really this is what's needed to drive investment people need to have some little bit of certainty there's not always possible in this market and we've seen that over there but we've heard many times here at the IPTC at the conference people talking about when they have some sense of stability this is when they need to invest and maybe they need to be investing a little bit more that investment climate probably needs a bit of rejuvenation would you say just to make sure that in the longer term we have the supplies of oil and gas because we need these supplies for the coming short term medium and long term uh, of, certainly, continuing investments in the oil industry is extremely important. You have uh, more than a billion people who still lack access to electricity. You have also three billion people who lack access to clean cooking fuel. So, and, uh, according to the latest uh, World Oil Outlook coming up from OPEC, that oil and gas will continue to dominate at least 28 percent from the global energy mix by 2040. So, what, what, what all that shows that continuing investments in the oil industry is extremely important, despite the uh, the interest from the climate issues or the energy transition I still what we also need in fact from the oil industry is not just to make investment but also to make investment in a green oil oil industry in circular carbon economy and that will it may ensure that there is uh, reliable supplies of oil and gas and also uh, mi while mitigating uh, carbon emission targets and that's in fact the most important thing that oil, the oil industry would need to look at over the next two decades as we start 2020. Now here at Saudi Arabia, of course, we're here for the first time for the International Petroleum Technology Conference. This is such a big deal coming to Saudi Arabia. And, you know, of course, yourself, you must be very happy to see this conference here and just the first of many because we're going to see this back here again. How important is it that such a conference at such a big scale is here in the kingdom? Uh, first, I would like to congratulate, congratulate Saudi Aramco and Saudi Arabia for organizing such a prestigious high-level conference. In fact, it compares to a lot of very important events that I have been to over the past uh, few years. So, um, and as you can see from the attendance in the, in the conference, is there has been a, a huge interest from the global community to discuss issues not just related to the petroleum technologies, but also things that would affect the future of the oil industry. Um, and now, the, t taking this conference as is, is an important step have to uh, make or uh, discuss what's going to be the future of the industry, what's going to be the future of the uh, oil markets, and uh, that, well, that's how I think the uh, the, uh, the going com or coming to this conference and the role of Saudi Aramco will be important in order to ensure the sustainability of the oil industry going forward.